Hello and welcome to the Prussianite Night Review of 1991 Canner's Terminator Endoskeleton. Now, I don't know if this is the T-800 Endoskeleton or just, you know, Endoskeleton. It's just labeled as Endoskeleton. But, um, and I did buy him loose, so I don't know if he has any accessories. I mean, you can see the kind of paint wear there, but... Altogether, he's in amazing shape. None of it, I mean, he's solid. His joints are tight. He does have light piping. Um... Which is an interesting way they did the light piping. He actually got two spots up here. And I know my lighting is not the greatest. I don't have a flashlight or anything nearby. But he has phenomenal light piping for just those two holes. Which I love that he has the light piping that way. Because, you know, it doesn't break up the sculpt. It doesn't look weird. But he still has light piping. Which is amazing. And I know a lot of people are... You know, they want their light piping to be really, really bright. And he is bright. I mean, if you have a light maybe an inch or two above his head, it will shine through there wonderfully. Now, of course, it's not going to work as great if the light's farther away, of course, because it's smaller holes. But I love that because he doesn't have the, uh, you know, the typical solid, clear plastic head. This arm is a bit loose, but, I mean, once you move it up, it's, it's pretty solid. This arm's not too bad. Sorry about that. I mean, it's kind of... A little loose but anyways um, he's an amazing figure for its age it does have some pretty decent articulation um, again you're not gonna get a whole lot of crazy <clears throat> articulation of poses out of this guy <coughs> sorry about that but um, yeah, he's fairly decent size for an action figure of the early 90s um, I'm just trying to think of things to say I originally reviewed Master of the Universe Classics Tuscador, but that review I cannot find the file for. I uploaded it to my computer, and I don't know where it went, so I'm doing this review. This will probably go up either tonight or really early tomorrow morning. I've got to work today, and I'll be off late, so, so it'll be either tonight or tomorrow morning. But anyways, and you can see his waist is a little bit loose, but we'll get into that more in a second. And for comparison, you can see here is... Masters of the Universe, Clawful. Uh, my Clawful does not like to stand. He fell over earlier. But as you can see, I mean, they're fairly... So he's about 5.5 inches, you know. Maybe... <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe a little bit shorter in some aspect, but still, an amazingly sized figure for the time. If you look at... I'm going to move him out of the way. 91, you had Ninja Turtles, uh, G.I. Joe... Transformers, Kenner's Aliens, I'm trying to think, I want to say you had Kenner Robocop and stuff like that, so these these figures are, if you have the Bull Alien, the Kenner Bull Alien, but I cannot get to him right now or else I would have compared him to him, but just the amount of details that are on this figure for a child's toy, I mean you have the spine, and you do have his copyright logo, you got TM 1991, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, it's really early today. Kenner, he's got China on his, his crack there, so he's, he's got China crack. <laughs> um, but even if you watch the movies, you know how he has, when Arnie cuts open his arm in the first and second, how he's got all the, the mechanical tendons and stuff. He's actually got that all the way through. My autofocus is just... There we go. I don't know what's wrong with my autofocus. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but you can see he's even got the little, uh, the, uh, not pistons, but the uh, joints and stuff like that. It actually moved when he opened and closed his hands like Arnie did in the first movie. And then he's got the shoulders, which Kenner did not have to do the shoulders the way they did. It actually looked like they don't move out, of course, but they actually look like they could actually move out, which, when you see the first movie and they're assembling the T-800 and they put his shoulders together, it looks almost exactly like this, which is phenomenal that Kenner got all this detailing. Now, the detailing is a bit blocky in places because obviously they couldn't make it as thin as a real endoskeleton for reasons. But still, I mean, he's got working mechanics now when you rotate his arm. Those actually rotate in there, which is, they didn't have to do that either. That is phenomenal. And elbows, you know, of course, they actually are sculpted to where they actually don't move all the way back. 
Now I know that's nothing special, but I know most action figures when you're trying to pose them and they move their elbows, sometimes they'll move back. But no, actually his elbows are, are molded and they're actually very tight. His arms are a bit of the squishier plastic. Up top they're hollow, but then down here they're a bit of squishier plastic. Um, yeah. And one thing that's really cool, you got these piston details with his legs, which they look weird when you're standing up, but actually when you have him sitting down, it actually looks like the pistons actually pulled his legs up, which is amazing. And even the toes have that tendon detailing. You can actually see the joints for the toes. He doesn't have any details underneath his feet, but he does have peg holes, which, which is nice. Even his legs, it honestly, if you're looking at it, it looks like his knees would bend, but they don't. They're like shoulders. But even still, he's got all the nice detailing. Even on his crotch assembly, he's got all of this lovely, lovely detailing. He's got a detailing on his abdomen. Even these, these piston pieces are a bit of squishier rubber to allow him to turn. To make it look like, you know, the pistons are actually turning in there. Also, I don't know if this is actually a feature, but it kind of acts as like a He-Man power punch. And it actually is very, very powerful. I would just be careful with it because of the age of the rubbery bits. They don't really hold up all that long. And one thing I do have to note, he does kind of have a, a pre... A pre-posed leg stance. It's not as bad as like Ninja Turtles or... Some of those other lines, but he he stands fairly well. I mean, my Master of the Universe figures they don't stand up so well, but I mean he stands up phenomenally. Now, of course, if you tap him, he's gonna fall over. And he does have a decent weight. I was really surprised about that. <clears throat> but anyways, articulation-wise, his shoulders can do a full 360, as I showed earlier. Elbows can bend 90 degrees. And he does have two open hands, so he can hold weapons in either hand. That shoulder could do 90 degrees and. 360, 90 degrees. No articulation at the head. The head is actually a solid piece, which I was really surprised about. But if you look in there, this piece actually, they joint in right about here in the center of the chest. So it would be really, really hard for them to do a head joint in there to make it swivel. And that would make it really, really fragile because then it would be, there's, I mean, he's hollow. There's not a whole lot of mass in here to really have enough to joint then head to the body. So I appreciate that. You know, it's, it makes him solid. Um, you know, legs can kick forward that far. can kick back pretty far, actually. So you can get him in some pretty decent poses, even with his legs being the way they are. Of course, he's not going to be super articulated, but you can kind of get him in kind of a walking pose here. Kind of. You can get him in a walking pose there. But, um... If you can find him, <clears throat> I'd recommend it. Like I said, I got him loose. I don't know if he has any other accessories. But, um, yeah, sorry about that. My cat was chewing on my clawful. Uh, I don't know if he has any accessories, but I was hoping to get the Endo Glow Terminator. But this this figure, if you can find this one, the Endo, Endo Glow, it is phenomenal. It is an amazing figure for the age and the price I paid. A little over $10 for him on eBay, which I know some people would look at this and say, well, why would you pay $10 for it? But this is, for now, until I, until I can afford the NECA Terminator, this is going to be my, my Terminator endoskeleton on display. And he may be a little short, but still, the detailing on this figure is, I mean, even on the face, you can see he's even got the, the nasal cavity, he's got teeth, the jaw is detailed, the neck is... Decently detailed on the front, but then on the side it kind of turns bland. But then on the back, it's got that detailing. It's got the shoulder detailing, the back detailing. I mean, all the detailing that's on this figure for his age is amazing. I mean, if you look at the Kenner Aliens line, those had phenomenal sculpted details. And then if we bring in Clawful here, you can see Clawful came out seven years earlier. And the detailing on Clawful is just, it's there. In spots, you can see that his, his claw is detailed. You know, it's got nice detailing texturing. His head is detailed, his loincloth, and his feet. And that's that's it. Well, the Terminator here, seven years later. I know they're made by two different companies, Kenner, Mattel, but the detailing on this guy. There's not really very many places that don't have any detailing, except for on like the waist section there. But it's no big deal. This has been a Pressure Night review of the Terminator Endoskeleton. Like the review if you'd like the like the content. Comment on what you could do better and subscribe if you'd like. 
and I'm hoping sometime tomorrow I'll be able to find that Tuscador review and upload it. But this one will go up tonight, <clears throat> and I am I am doing a a uh, vote, you know, vote for my next review. I mentioned this in my Tuscador. I will extend my you know the deadline for the voting till next Friday. But um, yeah, your choices are Master of the Universe Classics, Granimir. Super 7 Reaction <clears throat> Orko, Super 7 Filmation Clawful, uh, what else was there? <laughs> Draw a blank right now, folks. Um, the NECA Big Daddy Rosie, or I think that was it, just those four. The Grandimir, Big Daddy Rosie, Clawful, or Orko, and comment below which one you'd like to see me do a review on. Uh, comment any other ideas you'd like to have reviews on. Say, hey, it, you know, you should look at this figure and do a review on it. But anyways, it's been Impression Night Review. I will catch you folks next time, and you enjoy the rest of your day.